And welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. Welcome to the breakdown of an Instagram uh, post. You're like, wait, what is this all about? Um, so if you haven't followed me on Instagram, uh, I do a storyline with uh, primarily the Fisher Price Adventure people, um, which I had as a child, and kind of just brought it up to date. Let's see if I can just move the light around here. There we go, a little bit better. Um, now, of course, I have to hold this. This is going to be the next trick of this. Um, so where am I going with this? Yes, so um, I do have an Instagram page, and I happen to have uh, some characters um, that have developed into, uh, you know, they've developed the story. So it's like a, a toy box of story ideas, and you're seeing the final breakdown of the last post, and everything is starting to break down as we speak. Uh, again, if you're looking for me on in, uh, Instagram, it is avian underscore s a v a g e. I will leave the link into the. I will leave a link in the description, uh, so you can find me, follow me, and uh, read some of these really cool posts. Uh, I will be uh, just kind of like showing you what has occurred, or kind of occurred, or things have come through. These guys are not standing. Come on, guys, you're what 40 years old and you can't stand up. Um, so a couple of these figures, if you're like, wait a minute, haven't seen these before. Of course you haven't, because these are custom resin figures, um, based off of the original toys. So what I'm going to do is kind of give you a little, uh, um, breakdown of the set. Uh, for people who are thinking about, you know, putting pictures and, uh, making things like into a diorama situation. Um, I was just finding some things, uh, at the thrift store. Speaking of, it was Goodwill. This is where I found my find and that's what we're going to talk about here. Um, but here's some of the characters that um, I have been an, uh, an honor uh, of uh, coming up with some ideas, finding some amazing resin um, artists out there uh, on Instagram who uh, just do incredible, incredible jobs. <clears throat> All right, so the characters in the front, I, I, you know what you do is get a pointer if I need it. <laughs> uh, in the front we have, that is X-Ray Man, the original. Over here to the right is um, X-Ray Woman. Uh, now, the ones in here in the front, uh, this was made by eBerry Studios. This is X3636. Um, I'm sorry, six, three, six. Um, And if you've not seen uh, the post from that where I got the inspiration, um, check it out. I've got some previous videos. You'll see this character um, who uh, was made actually from a 3D printed uh, mold and uh, I had the artist uh, painted up so it had the same uh, decals that were very similar um, to card art that I had seen. Uh, in the back here we have I got one going <laughs> um, infrared. Uh, this was made by Strafe uh, 7 2.0. I will hopefully link a description to his stuff. Um, this was a character that was developed like Again, it was like three years ago with someone else. The person had this amazing card art, um, but just kind of didn't want to finish the project. Thought it was kind of cool where <coughs> where it was. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I was able to ask Strafe. I said, I've got some visuals for you. Can you make it? Can you have it done? And he says, of course. And so this was actually an homage to that. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know where that came from. Um, it's an homage to uh, that card art. So that's infrared. And in the back, um, we have in the middle, that is ultraviolet. That was made by Toy Buzz Biz. You can find him on Etsy. You can also find Strafe 7 on Etsy as well. Um, and then over here to the right, the blue one, uh, that is Nitron. Uh, again, I came up with uh, most of the names, a la minus uh, the one over here. Um, that was a name that had come up from a different artist uh, who just said, nope, don't want to deal with it. But Infrared was actually made. What a cool freaking figure he is. And again, I really wish, um, I really wish that uh, Fisher-Price had continued. So if you don't know where these characters originally came from, so they came from, I'm going to do it real quick. Uh, this guy here, as you can tell, um, the look, uh, you know, again, it was a clear molded figure and 
they give them kind of that Star Wars spacey look. And for the female over here, X-Ray Woman, she was slightly based off of uh, the Diver figure, uh, except the chest is a little bit different. Uh, her decal on the front is not the same as the um, the one that went underwater, but still really cool figures. Um, you can still find them. And again, the cool thing about these, they're all like translucent. And oh my gosh, I have my heart um, with this guy over here. So 636, again, based off of car art that I saw um, from the Imagine X figure that they could have made. But Fisher Price decided, no, nope, not we're going to do it. That's okay, because, you know, I've got incredible resin artists um, that have come up with this stuff. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, uh, if you're, basically this uh, video is just like talking about if you're thinking about, you know, doing a diorama, uh, if you're doing pictures, and you're like, well, where do I start? Actually, it's all about shapes. And I will show you really quick. So again, this was from a thrift store find. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, unfortunately, I'm going to take away the character. It's really cool. Again, uh, this is probably one of my prize, one of my prize figures um, in, you know, my vault of action figures. Again, the original X-Ray Man, really cool, translucent X-Ray Woman, really, really cool. I'm going to put him on the side over here. And uh, I am so fortunate, again, to have these. Uh, figures within my, you know, within, you know, my collection here. There we go. We got infrared. Really cool figure. Thanks again, Strafe. I so appreciate it. Oh, and get back over here um, to eBerry Studios. Thank you so much. You are so talented when you made this for me. I so appreciate it. I mean, really wicked cool. And again, I'm giving all these characters. I mean, look at the, the, uh, the muscular, um, physique this is what the again if they had ever updated and upgraded the bodies to uh the fisher price figures this is what they should have been and again you know more like an atlas figure uh again these two were done by toy buzz biz um phenomenal job again i love the dicker uh, the, the the stickers whoa what the heck was i thinking on that one um the stickers that were on here uh, guys, you don't have to apologize. I apologize because I've been like working like like a nonstop banshee here for the last couple of days. That's probably why I haven't had a video um, going up here. Yard work and then just putting in extra time. Uh, again, Toy Buzz Biz, thank you. I wound up naming him Nitron. Wicked cool figure. Again, I am so glad he is a part of my collection. And last but not least, we have Ultraviolet. Uh, again, what a cool figure she is. Uh, and again, Toy Buzz Biz made uh, this character come alive. And again, if you find these uh, artists, you can just ask them, hey, you know, can we do, you know, a custom figure? I want it to look like, you know, like Avian Savages. He's probably like, who the hell are you talking about? Yes, I said that. Anyway, so yes, these are really cool. So before I forget, um, I also got some thrift store finds here, which is pretty cool. Now, this one I'm going to have to back up. This is going to be part of the thrift store find, and we'll get to that in a um, minute, minute, minute. Um, and the other one, i got to make sure the uh, the gimmick is working on this one. So let me readjust the camera. Yes, it has to do with dun, 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 Jurassic Park. And really, really cool. Check it out real quick. I'm going to give him his gimmick and smile for the camera. <laughs> what? What an awesome uh, feature this character has. I'm going to put it in the background here just for a minute. Uh, again, thrift store find. Check it out. What do we get? How much did we pay for this? If you're seeing here, yes, $3.99. Believe it or not, this figure is huge. Um, let me put him down. And again, got it for 4 bucks. I think it's like 20%. Uh, and I was like, got to have this figure. Uh, probably going to sell it, but, uh, you know, I've got a whole lot of these now. And again, Jurassic Park is not my, uh, it's not my big thing to, uh, follow, but these are really wicked cool. Again, from the head to the tail, uh, it's approximately 21 inches tall. Um, so again, whoever gets that lot 
um, that I sell it from, they're going to be um, like happy Jurassic Park ducks. Anyway, before I forget, um, I do have an Instagram page, which I was just talking about. Um, so please do follow that. Uh, I'm on Facebook with the Dark Cosmic Universe to uh, put some really cool stuff in here. And here we go. This is what I found part of the thrift store thing. And again, this has to do with dioramas. Of, so just stick with me if you can. My mind is like in outer space here. Literally, figuratively. Um, let me think what else. Okay, literally, figuratively. I can't think of anything else here. Um, don't forget, please follow me on Instagram. I'll put the links up. Um, check out um, the Dark Cosmic Universe on uh, Facebook. Please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, keep going. We are at like 184 subscribers. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I am just like tickled pink that people would even consider uh, doing a subscription. You know, well, you know, subscribing to the channel and checking out over what 20,000 views or something like that. I am like just like happy. So that's why I'm doing these videos for you. And here we go. Here is the find that I found. It is called Ready to Robot. And when I saw this at the thrift store, I guess I had to back this thing up. This thing is huge. Just check out, I mean, what it's got on here. And I'm going to take one of these figures and I'll give you an idea of the scale of how big this, uh, it's like a mini playset. I don't actually even know what, uh, I don't even know what this is, to be honest. But I saw this thing. And again, it's all about shapes. I mean, I'm going to just, you know, try to pan up. And it's got some really wicked cool just shapes in it. So I'm going to put this down. And it had some really cool features. I have no idea what this actually was from. Uh, again, it's a build, swap, battle. So it's got to be something really, really, really cool. Um, I saw this and I said, this is, oh my gosh, this is dark cosmic universe material. And then here we go, breaking down the set again here. And I do apologize. I should have done this but you know it gives you an idea if you want to set up for you know dioramas and stuff and this is kind of like what i do and here we go let's put it in the background here and check it out this thing is wicked wicked cool again i don't know what it's all about but you know again you got the shapes um and let me put this down here and i'll show you what i was thinking when i saw this at the thrift store bang um i was like this is really wicked cool i'm like i can come up with like so many cool ideas and I'm going to take X-Ray Man, put him in here. And again, just, you know, just by putting him in here, um, you've, you've got so many ideas. Like, you know, it could be going this way, you know, walking through. You have a whole bunch of figures in here. You can stack him up right over here. And again, you know, pretty cool. And then this pops up. And almost like if you think like a mad scientist or something going in here. So I'm assuming something does go in there. But unfortunately, these characters are too small to do that. But I was like, this is really wicked cool. And let's check how much it costs. You're probably like, how much did you pay for this, Avian? Um, and again, finding it at a thrift store. Finding it at the thrift. $3.99. And again, looking at the, even the, like, the side designs here. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, even if you have this in a, uh, like a diorama situation, diorama situation, I think I just made that up. I mean, you know, put this back here, put a figure next to it, and again, minus the uh, thing. But look how cool you're starting to come up with some really cool ideas. And it is just, you know, just one of those things. And like, you can put this down here. And you can have the guy going over here and going, hey, I'm going to go inside. All right. And then you lead it up there, go to another picture. And you're like, what are you talking about? Again, it's all about, you know, what your imagination can do. When I saw this thing, this thing was just built for imagination purposes. All right. So check this out. I'm going to open this up if I can. I'm only doing this one handed. Normally, I usually have my stand here. That's the one I usually knock into, which everyone kind of laughs. Um, Seashell was here earlier, but uh, she kind of, she was kind of like one and done with us. She's like, yeah, whatever, do what you want to do. Now, even like, here we go, inside, uh, you got this little battle area. Again, if you're thinking like, you know, doing dioramas, stick a couple figures in here, um, like so. Again, I'm just kind of randomly putting things in here. I mean, check it out. This is like really wicked cool. 
And this is, you know, again, like the shapes I'm seeing on the floor. Uh, again, this wasn't in the best shape because there's a little crud in here. But again, for four bucks, I mean, the design on here. Think of all the different pictures. And that's what I was thinking about when I picked this up. I'm like, this thing has so many possibilities. So when you go into a thrift store and you're finding all these like old, you know, beat up sets or whatever, you're like, ah, I don't know. I don't want to. I want to give it a chance but i saw this thing i knew i knew nothing about totally did not even bother looking up what it is because i saw this and i said you know what this just screams the dark cosmic universe this was one of the coolest things that i definitely picked up and again uh, i will definitely be incorporating this into uh you know future um posts or whatnot and then even if you flip it on the back i mean again the possibilities with something like this Look at the designs, and even if you flip this over and you made this like part of a base and then you put something in the background here, I mean, we're talking, this thing has, for $4, you know, if you got your Star Wars figures or, you know, I, can, I guess you could probably do, again, these were like four inch figures here, um, you know, you can take a four inch figure and put it in the set, I'm trying to stand it up. And there goes my infrared. And, uh, okay, so checking it out. Like, standing him over here, and then I get, like, say, um, X636 uh, X over here. Got him over here. You can stand these things up. I mean, look at the floor pattern on this. I mean, this is, like, really, really wicked cool. I mean, whoever came up with this, they knew that they had a toy that they could put other accessories with and just like start building with it. Again, it's just small things that you put together and it just kind of starts to click. So when you focus in on the stuff like, you know, an Instagram page or if you're doing something on Facebook or you're doing some kind of digital art, you start building things in your mind and it just keeps building and getting better and better and I keep knocking things over and over everyone's laughing here I really hope everyone you guys uh, you know you're enjoying the stuff that I'm putting on here and you're dealing with this in a really good way and probably laughing too but again I wanted to say thank you so much and again we're just like I'm adding pieces and parts on here and knocking figures over it to begin with and there goes another one this is great they're all flying all over the place but I'm saying you start adding you build and it just keeps getting better and better here. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we're coming up on almost 200 uh, subscribers here. Uh, and again, if we get 200 subscribers, we're at 184. I am so hoping. You know what it means? We have another toy giveaway. And I have another present to unwrap for everyone. Well, not for everyone, but, you know, for, um, for a giveaway. So, like, subscribe get people to check out the channel once we hit 200 anyone and again i'll do a video i'll let you know which ones uh we'll do it we'll do comments on there uh, i'll pick a winner someone will get a really cool figure I'll, I'll unwrap it first and then i'll give you guys the video let's get to 200 people i so appreciate it and uh, again check out my instagram page check out the facebook hey check out the ebay store totally forgot about that um as of what like two weeks ago or a week and a half, um, people are like going, hey, check this out. They've got some really cool shirts. And uh, the shirts have been flying. So again, I can't hold I can't hold the shirts for you guys. Uh, if you see something on there, snag it, buy it, you know, buy it right now. Uh, I do do, uh, you know, best offers. So those are some good things, some good options. All right, everyone. So check it out. We did the thrift store. We found this really cool diorama here. And I know everyone's getting like seasick by me not like holding it like this. We've got a diorama piece here, um, which has got all these really great, cool things. Again, got it for $4. Um, you guys got to see the breakdown of the Instagram page, uh, you know. So check that out. So if you're looking to get some inspiration, how can I set my figures up and, you know, and also do, you know, like some really cool uh, scenery. Well, I'm giving you some ideas here and I hope you guys are enjoying that. Of course, back here, I've got little, uh, my little uh, curtains. Uh, again, dollar store stuff. This is, these are dollar store um, uh, what are the, uh, pillowcases. 
and they look really really cool back here now i got that from walmart um because i like it because i'm totally cosmic and anyway uh the video is kind of gone like we've gone over 20 minutes here but thank you so much i so appreciate everyone thank you all again to all my cosmic family out there uh my cosmic comrades and of course you know you guys are just awesome Thank you again. Uh, my name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. Hope you enjoy what's going on, my friends. And as I always say, stay cosmically insane. We'll see you soon. Again, 200 subscribers. We're going to throw up another giveaway for another toy for another lucky person to get a chance to have an action figure as part of their collection. We'll see you soon.